Hey, be a squid and subscribe to my mediocrity. So I've sort of opened up this weird conversation with the No Man's Sky community talking about we need a combat update. No, exploration only. Like, listen, I want to find a way that all of us can live together amongst each other because I'm not I'm not a fan of this whole I hate exploration. I want combat. Like, no, I like exploration. There's nothing wrong with exploration. I just think these two connected to each other can lead to a more unified path. Like, there are definitely ways to integrate PvP and PvE content. Like, it doesn't have to be one hardcore or the other. I mean, shit, my number one suggestion for No Man's Sky is probably just updated AI for right now and then move to a stepping stone later on, maybe looking at PvP or maybe looking at Planetary Warfare. Who knows? All right? I don't really care. But definitely the most important thing right now would be updated fauna and flora or AI in general, realistically, because I think the AI suck dick. Anyway, today I kind of wanted to go through some of the comments because I think you guys have genuinely great fucking ideas. And I just want to highlight you guys because fucking you're a part of this channel, too. So deal with it. So uh, obviously I'm going to be arguing with people as well. I'm not just going to highlight things that I like, but I'm also going to talk to the people that disagree or want to fucking attack me because I literally want I, I don't want you to hate me. I genuinely don't. But I also, if you're acting a fool, I'm going to put you in your place. And this is the one, you're, you're not being a dick, but like this comparison between No Man's Sky, Elite Dangerous, and EVE Online is completely absurd because these two games play so differently. And the goal of the game is far different than No Man's Sky. You base your comparison from Elite Dangerous and EVE Online to No Man's Sky because they are space games. Just because the setting is the same, that doesn't make it doesn't make them the same sort of game. My comparison was No Man's Sky to Ark and Conan Exiles because these are mechanically and fundamentally the same. You build a base, gather materials, survive the elements, flying around in a ship, as well as being in space does not mean that these games are related in any way, shape, or form. If you did any kind of Google searches, you would see that apparently No Man's Sky is a real-time strategy survival game, which uh, I, I don't know where the RTS part comes into that, but that's, uh, that's something. But the main thing here is a survival game. That is, the, that is the point I'm trying to make. If you see this, all right, and then we go over to Elite Dangerous, Elite Dangerous is a space flight simulation game that is not the same as no man's sky in any way shape or form let me look at something like arc survival evolved and it's an action adventure survival video game let me take a look at conan exiles it is a survival video game these are the reasons why i compared arc and conan to no man's sky because fundamentally and mechanically they are the same. And then you just gotta love the guy under him telling me to go play fucking COD because I want PvP. I never actually explicitly said I wanted PvP. I said I wanted to be a murder pirate. I don't have to be a murder pirate of players. I just want to go murder people in general in a PvE setting. P PvP, that means I have to actually have skill and be better than someone, which I don't have the time to ever gain. So I would rather beat the shit out of AI than people. So... I don't know why this person and people assume that I want PvP. It doesn't have to be, you know, a pirates in terms of PvP. The whole, oh my god, Jesus. I initially saw this on my phone and I just liked it immediately because I was like, this dude took the time. Like, even if this was like a total hate comment, right? I would have still gave him the like and everything because he took the time to write this shit out knowing that I either was going to read this or not read it. So props to you for giving a shit. Now, the main thing that I wanted to focus on for this entire comment was he explains how the hazard shield pretty much nullifies the number one thing that'll kill you in No Man's Sky, and that's going to be the weather. If you get one of each of the hazards and you put it on your shield, you essentially don't ever have to really worry about the weather, which getting one of each of the hazard shields are very, very easy to do. You just fly around from galaxy to galaxy and you literally can get like all of them in like a span of 10 minutes. It really takes no effort. Then he goes on to talk about the ship v ship combat is retarded and I agree a thousand percent. It is literally the worst thing ever. The space pirates just practically drive in front of your rockets. Like they, they might as well just hit the explode button and kill themselves because that's pretty much what they do. Another focus point that I wanted to highlight here was the questing situation because I think it is the most boring thing in No Man's Sky. If you're going to do quests and you want to center 
exploration around questing, that's fine. It has to be interesting and not a waste of time because it is literally nothing but just pure nonsense. There's no voice acting to get you involved. There's not really much of a story anyway, just a bunch of cryptic, edgy, weird shit that it's not edgy, but just it's like cryptic, weird shit that it doesn't. I don't care they still haven't even beaten the story and i've had this fucking game for i don't know how many years now like that's how much i don't care no man's sky was never supposed to be an action-packed game i'm not looking for action packed i'm just looking for any form of action whatsoever and and, and you get it right like you you would like improved combat that's essentially my main goal for no man's sky is to have improved combat so i mean we're already on the same page we're not at an at a disagreement like yeah i want to be a murder pirate but more importantly I just want to play the game with a bit more oomph into the combat. That's mainly it. So we're not even like on different wavelengths. Now, this one right here, I actually read and I I, I sort of liked what he had going on here. So he, he suggests new sentinels that get more challenging and teach new players not to mess with them, which essentially translates to just sort of better AI for sentinel drones. Personally, for me, I would rather get rid of the sentinel drones and actually put down some sort of settlers or people that have already you know live on the planet and stuff like ai cities or villages like if you go to an affluent um galaxy those people are going to have full-fledged cities within the planet so that would be cool to see something like that but if that's a bit too much in large scale yeah th this would work I, I would take a rework sentinel drone ai definitely that's not a bad idea by any degree then we have shielded turrets on freighters and on sentinel dreadnoughts that deal higher damage uh um i mean yeah i guess i mean personally i don't i don't think i really care i've never really been in a huge lot of like freighter versus sentinel dreadnoughts like i've never really been in that sort of fight i've done a couple but it was never to the point where it got really hairy so i guess this would make it better and make some sort of uh, I guess sense but I don't know that I care too much about that more or less this one I actually don't really understand where it's like freighter battles that way it matters if you choose Venator Sentinel or system freighters NPC and Sentinel bombers to counter freighter defenses and heavy starship shields Sentinel heavy interceptors is is, is that a thing I didn't even know that this is a fucking thing I I I, I didn't okay that's news to me personal force field has a health bar like Reinhardt shield what i i think we actually i think that's a thing i i literally think that you can literally pull up a shield like i'm like i'm pretty sure that's a real thing then you have wingmen on your freighter crews that's not a that's not that's not actually a bad idea if you collect ships for your crew members you could upgrade them to s rank that's actually not a bad idea that would be pretty cool that way you don't just have this massive collection of ships and they're just sitting around collecting dust they actually have a use and then more in atmosphere battles that can be locked to atmospheric combat i yeah that's that's pretty much what i like but i feel like this is so large scale because the planets are literally like one to one creation of planets so it takes like actual three four five days to travel from one side of the planet to the other and atmospheric combat dude like that's a massive thing to request and as much as i'd like it i don't know that it's actually even possible pirate blockades that can be countered by your own freighter this the good idea i like this this is good i fuck with this this guy says we need more melee weapons i mean i would I, i'm not one against melee combat i mean i'm sort of a barbarian so i mean i'm not against that once again, another elite dangerous guy that's just the, the space pirate counterpart. Like, yeah, I want to be a space pirate, but like, nah, I don't always want to be stuck in space. Like, that's that's boring to me. Space is fucking empty. There's a reason No Man's Sky has a huge fan base, and it's because it's put so much effort into these planets that I feel like they need to utilize it more. Whereas space, most of it is rather empty, and you're only using it as a means to travel from planet to planet. There's nothing really epic that happens in space, which I think can be changed as well like adding space fauna giant space whales that fuck with you it doesn't have to be space pirates G give me something huge like some actual creatures in space that really want to eat my ass plus whales are fucking scary bro I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not really about that life now this one is a weird comment because I, I have the exact opposite of of what this guy thinks like he agrees with me but i'm like yeah minecraft i i, I could play that rather than i would play a, a fucking <laughs> no man's sky the problem is uh, hello games is redeeming themselves in releasing a bad game minecraft was never shit and is continuing to improve itself over the years and prove that 
you don't need beautiful graphics to have riveting gameplay that is the point of minecraft you, you got these blocks and bullshit and it's still a, a game that's killing it in the market right now even in 2020 a game that's like 10 years old like that's how ridiculous minecraft is so you may agree that hello games is releasing better updates they shouldn't have had to release better updates they should have just had a game that was good on release day so they're playing catch up while minecraft is fucking light years ahead of them see this guy just fucking gets it immediately where he's like i just started playing not that long ago and i just want to be an intergalactic warmonger please at one point please i just want i, I want to be a murder pirate so badly please elite dangerous odyssey what the fuck is that yo what the fuck they're they're coming out with an update that that's going to allow you to disembark from your ship what oh my yo i bro i don't even think i care anymore about no man's guy wait a minute dude this looks actually like a fucking mass effect what the fuck bro have i just been playing the wrong game this whole time dude like look at this stuff holy shit you can assemble a crew you got all this cool shit forge your own path oh oh my god a sphere of combat holy shit yo this looks so dope okay i i, I gotta watch the trailer boys I, I gotta react to this live here we go here we go <laughs> Dude, what? I mean, like, they, they didn't really show much, which I guess is fine. But the fact that a game... Because I've played Elite Dangerous. I'm not a super huge fan of, like, the whole simulation thing. Because I, I feel like I need some sort of flight stick to play it. Like, I don't know. It, it feels really heavy in the simulation aspect. I'm not an overly huge fan of that. But if I can get over that and, you know, start doing some ground stuff and actually have some combat. Because, I mean, these guys are strapped up. Like, they're looking real mean. It doesn't look as colorful as No Man's Sky or anything like that, and I don't really care about that personally, but holy shit, maybe I have been playing the wrong game. What the fuck? I actually read through this guy's comment, and you know what? Your comment actually gets a like, because you literally introduced me to something that I didn't even fucking know exists, so you get a like, and it's actually rather tame. You're, you're pretty, you're pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty weird wording like No Man's Sky is a liberal hive mind. Good lord. I could smell that comment. Oh my god. I don't know about going that far, but I mean, it's a little something. No Man's Sky murder hobo update. I fuck. I, I love you guys. Your fucking comments are hilarious. All right. I think that's uh, where we're going to uh, call the video. I, I just, I thought it was a good idea to highlight some of your guys' comments. And we discovered some new things and uh, found some funny opinions, some bad opinions, uh, and stuff like that. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You guys are great. Love you guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.